Good morning and happy Friday. We made it to another Friday. I want to talk a little bit today about that wonderful hymn, Amazing Grace, and its author, John Newton. You are likely aware that John Newton was the captain of a slave trading ship and that he was involved in a great storm and that was his conversion experience and later became an abolitionist. And all of that is true, but as is so true of so many of our stories, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, he was a sailor from a very early age and was the stereotypical sailor. He could cuss and drink like a sailor. As a matter of fact, he could cuss better than most sailors. He was frequently punished by captains because of his profane mouth. One captain saying that his language was so bad that he invented words that were even worse than the worst of curse words. Once, while he was still a sailor in a storm, he did cry out, Lord have mercy on us, and the ship was saved. And that began his conversion uh, to eventually become a minister and an abolitionist. But it didn't all happen in one fell swoop. That Lord have mercy, he knew something had happened, but it took a while for him to feel like he fully was converted. And as a matter of fact, he, he worried early on that he couldn't be converted, uh, that he, he had already lived a life that was too bad. There's where we pick up that verse, "'Twas grace that taught my heart to fear. Am I so bad I can't be saved? And then grace my fears relieved." When he first wanted to become an Anglican minister, he was rejected, not because of his past, but because he was known, and some of you are going to love this, for socializing with Methodists. Now that'll get you kicked out of the Anglican church any day, uh, at least back then it would. But eventually, because of his great faith and his insistence that all people were worthy of God's love, regardless of their race, regardless of what they might have done in the past, that eventually what was allowed him to become an Anglican minister, and in 1772, which was uh, more than 20 years after he left uh, the slave trading business, he uh, wrote the words to Amazing Grace as a part of a sermon. And I just love the uh, first verse, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me, and we can hear his story in that. I once was lost, but now am found. And there he is changing a quotation a little bit when the prodigal son's father is speaking to the prodigal son's older brother and he's explaining we have to celebrate because what once was lost now is found. And so Newton is saying that's who I was and then I once was blind but now I see. He's quoting from the blind man in the Gospel of John when the Pharisees are criticizing him. Well who do you think Jesus is and how do you think he did that? And the man says simply, I don't know. Here is what I know. I once was blind and now I see. For John Newton that was a long lifetime journey. For you and for me it is a lifetime journey. How thankful we, we are or certainly should be that we have a Savior who will invest in us for the long term and allow us to sing Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saves 